Hi, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode of Coding Dojo. Today we're gonna do uh, find the odd int. Um, so given an array, find the int that appears an odd number of times. There will always be only one integer that appears an odd number of times. Okay, I feel like this task is pretty simple, straightforward, so let's start. Um, okay, let's start with console in log. What's, what's the uh, a variable? Um, so this is an array of numbers. So I will change the name. Uh, number array. So it's easier for me. Mm, okay. Um, so I will return value will be will be int but to count all of the numbers we will need dictionary number dictionary is just an object and now we're gonna iterate through all the numbers in the array so for the number array and okay so now we should be able to also look it's uh, too variable number to see it like this number and let's console that number Yes, somehow outside works here. Here's not working, okay? Why? Let's 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 try it here. Let's try it here here. Uh, yeah. So now even going inside. Why is that? So let's console log this. So we will be able to see uh, if it even goes here. So first undefined, then the see okay we have a typo. That's why that's how you debug. And now we should be able to see here every time that loop is gone. Yeah, perfect. It's working. We are inside of the loop. Cool. Uh, so next step. We're gonna put this number to our number dictionary. So number uh, dictionary number and if number dictionary dot number exists, then we wanna 
add it plus one. So it will be this plus one. Else we just want to have one because we always have to be one. Uh, yes, now we have having that. Let's check how it looks. Okay, so now we have the same, but counted in the dictionary. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna like unwrap the object. So uh, we're gonna look through through the object properties, and and then we're gonna check for for an odd number. Okay, so let odd number be zero, and this will be our return value as well so for let t and number this allows us to go to all the keys in an object so for number equals uh, yeah now we're gonna use modulo was in the previous episode uh, is the rest of uh, dividing so number dictionary key number dictionary key so we're gonna we will have value like two 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 uh, yeah, and this modulo will be like uh, key or else of number and of number number. Perfect. Of number of number. So I'm just saying that if you if if you find the here if you find the value that is an odd number, then you you put you change the variable to so you, you take key and, and assign it to odd number. And if not, then just continue uh, with the same variable. So you will leave it unchanged. Uh, so almost, we almost there. Uh, we get expected five. This is integer and this is string. This is pretty common. So uh, very simple. We just need to parse it. Parse int odd number. And hope it works. Yeah, so now it's working. Uh, cool. 